Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to chop a sample in Simpler. Here's the sample that I'm going to be working with. First, we're going to insert a MIDI track. We're going to insert a Simpler device. We're going to drag and drop our sample. We're going to expand our view. And then, uh, as you notice, you'll notice that uh, Simpler has three playback modes, uh, classic, one shot, and slice. We're going to be using slice. At, by default, Ableton will slice up your sample by the transients. As you see here, you can adjust this by adjusting the sensitivity. Next, if you hit slice by, you'll notice there's four modes that you can choose to slice your sample by. Beat, which does it by divisions, like regions, like so. And then you can choose manual. In the manual mode, it allows you to add your slice markers wherever you'd like. You can do this by just clicking them in, like so. Or you can do this by pressing a key on your MIDI controller and adding the slice markers in real time like so. So that's basically how you can slice your sample. And what I'm going to do just for the sake of this video, I'm going to show you how I would use this. So basically, I'm just add some slice markers here, there. I like to add them on the transients. So like the kick and the snare is basically where I like to add my uh, chop markers so that when I layer uh, drums, they can hit at the same spot in the original sample. So just like so. And then I'm going to turn warping on to turn uh, the time stretching feature on and then I'm going to change my warp mode to a complex pro and I'm going to make sure I click warp as eight bars. All right. Now I'm just going to probably fine tune some of these chops real quick. Okay. And then I'm going to just insert a MIDI clip. Then I'm going to scroll down to the first octave C1 and then I'm going to make sure I can hear the sample and I'm just going to see just going to play back a few chops. That's basically how you chop a sample in Ableton's Live Simpler. It's actually extremely easy. You can do it a variety of ways by manually chopping your sample, by using transients, by using um, different beat measures or even regions. Um, so, guys, I hope you find this video useful. Uh, please like and subscribe and let me know if there's any other videos that you would like to see. Thanks for watching, guys.